Today we are going to learn about the planets of the solar system. So first of all we have to know what are planets. So let's start this topic with the answer of what are planets. Planets are round objects that orbit the sun. And orbit means to circle around. So planets are those round objects which circle around the sun. What 3D shape is planet? Think about it. Yes, planets are in round shape. But what 3D shape is this? Yes, it's sphere. Planets are sphere in shape. So planets are sphere that go around the sun. Did you know? There are two types of planets. Yeah, there are two type of planets. And those are primary planets and dwarf planets. There are eight primary planets. And primary planets are the main planets which orbit the sun. And today we are going to learn about these primary planets in this video. And there are five dwarf planets. These dwarf planets are very small in size. Here are the primary planets. Now we will get to know about these planets. First planet is Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to Sun in the solar system. Second planet is Venus. Next is our planet Earth. So Earth is third planet from the Sun. Next planet is Mars. So Mars is the fourth planet from Sun. Jupiter is the fifth planet. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. The sixth planet is Saturn. And that has rings around. Uranus is the seventh planet from Sun. The last primary planet is Neptune. It is eighth planet and farthest planet from Sun. Let's look at each of the eight primary planets. First planet is Mercury. Here is the Mercury planet. You can see it is the closest planet to Sun. So Mercury is very hot planet. In fact Mercury is four times hotter than boiling water. Do you know there are four rocky planets? And Mercury is one of them. So Mercury is a rocky primary planet. Mercury is the smallest primary planet. And it doesn't have any moon. The next planet, Planet 2 is Venus. See, Venus is right here. It is the second planet from the Sun. Venus is called Earth's twin. And the reason is that they both are of very similar size. They both are rocky planets just like Mercury. Earth and Venus both are made up of similar rocks. So that's why they are known as twins. Hey did you know, that every day on Venus is a cloudy day and the clouds are of yellow color. Every day, cloudy day, forever. But it's okay because there is no life. Venus is the closest planet to Earth. So it is the easiest planet to see in the sky. Even we don't need telescope to see it. The third planet is ours, the Earth. The Earth is third planet in solar system. Here is the Earth. Earth is third planet from Sun. By the way, these planets are never line up like this, we just have like this so you can see order of the planet. Normally they are very very jumbled, they don't line up like this. Earth is the only planet we know, of that has oceans and life on it. Earth is one of the rocky planet. Remember, there are four rocky primary planets, and Earth is one of them. Earth has one moon. The moon orbits the Earth, like the Earth orbits the Sun. The next, fourth planet is Mars. Mars is here, in between Earth and Jupiter. Look at Mars, what color is that? It looks like reddish, orange. Because of its color, Mars is called the red planet. Even though it is red, it is not hot. It is much colder than Earth. The reason in that the Mars is farther than Earth from the Sun. 
Is there life on Mars? Scientists believe. There used to be water on Mars. If there was water, there may have been life. Mars is the fourth rocky planet. Remember, we discussed there are four rocky planets. So Mars is the last rocky planet. Mars has volcanoes and valleys just like Earth. Even there is some time bigger. Mars has two moons. And they both are very small. So Mars is fourth planet from Sun. And it is in between Earth and Jupiter. Next planet, planet 5 is Jupiter. Jupiter is first of the gas planet. Jupiter, Jupiter is the massive planet which is between Mars and Saturn. I mean by massive, Jupiter is huge. It is the biggest planet in our solar system. In fact, all of the other planets could fit in Jupiter and there would be extra room. So Jupiter is so huge. Jupiter has at least 63 moons. We say at least because they still discovering more. So Jupiter is the giant, gas planet which is in between Mars and Saturn. Another gas planet, the sixth planet from the Sun is Saturn. Here is the Saturn, sixth planet from the Sun. You can spot it easily due to huge rings. It is in between Jupiter and Uranus. Hey, did you know? Saturn's rings are made up of ice. Like Jupiter, Saturn has a lot of moons. Saturn has 62 moons. Saturn is the farthest planet, you can see without a telescope. So, Saturn is the gas planet, sixth planet from the Sun. And it is in between Jupiter and Uranus. The seventh planet is Uranus, another gas planet. Uranus, Uranus is the seventh planet from Sun, and it is in between Saturn and Neptune. Uranus and Neptune are the only planets, you can't see without a telescope. William Herschel discovered Uranus in 1781. Uranus is a gas planet that is made of gas and liquid. Uranus has rings just like, Saturn has rings. Scientists believe the rings of Uranus could be pieces of broken moon. Speaking of moons, Uranus has 27 moons. So Uranus is a gas planet, seventh planet from the Sun, and in between Saturn and Neptune. The next and final planet is Neptune, which is a gas planet. So that means, their first four planets are rocky planets, and last four planets are gas planets. So eighth planet is Neptune, which is farthest from Sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is a gas planet which is made of gas and liquid. Neptune was discovered in 1846, when Uranus was being studied. It is known for storms, worst storms in the solar system. In fact, winds reach over 1,000 miles per hour on Neptune. Neptune has 14 known moons, but scientists believe there may be more moons. So here is the Neptune, the last planet and farthest from the Sun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe the channel for more educational videos.